Man, I'm gonna never forget the time I got scammed. All right, so at this point, I had stayed up for like three days straight. I was insanely tired. And I was going through my emails one time to sign into my account to get like a verification code or something. And for some reason, I see this really bright email. And it says it's from a Nigerian prince. So I open it. It's super bright and colorful. This thing damn near fully wakes me up. And it says if I sent the Nigerian prince $500, he'd send me 2000 back. So I was like, bro, no way I'm doing that. That's obviously a scam. I've fallen for something like this before, but I would never think to do it again. So I went on with my day until I found a mail in my mailbox that had the Nigerian prince's name on it. It turns out somehow he found my address and sent me mail. So I was like, no way this is a scam, bro. It has to be serious. So I opened the envelope and find that there's a check with my name on it. And all I had to do was sign it off for the Nigerian prince. Dude had everything figured out. All I had to do was go to the post office and send it off. So I'm over here trying to find a pen to sign this check with. And I go into my brother's room. And for some reason, he had royal paper, tons of pens and ink. So I start reading what's on the paper that's on his desk. And it turns out all this time, my 10-year-old little brother was the Nigerian prince. So I waited for him to get to school. And I just started throwing haymakers, bro, beating the absolute shit out.